Dave. Pretty good. I had to sabotage your computer. You had to what? Oh, chill out, It was just a tiny little thing. I just needed an excuse for the IT guy to come by so I could steal his password. Clyde? But he's so nice. Why'd you want to steal his password? It's a long story. And then I used Mr. Wade's synthesized voice to craft this fake message, which I left on her answering machine. Now that's some out of the box thinking. Yep, just might be silly enough to work. Yeah, anyhow, feel free to keep using my computer. I need to do some homework anyway. Sounds good. I think I'll have another crack at analyzing the picture of the lights. Maybe I can find some clue as to where it was taken. I guess? It's just Eileen. Is anything new? Anything different? Makeup check, hair check, horrible mood, and contempt for humanity check. You forgot about your resting scally face. I totally do not have a... Well, told you. <laughs> Can I look at anything Eileen's else? Eileen's girly suit. <laughs> Mildred. Hilarious, Kathy. Oh, come on, Eileen. You have to admit that Mildred is a funny name. Sometimes I wonder why I even hang out with you. Me too. I can be a real bee. That movie's not out yet. It's a she tells everyone who- I'm right here, you know. Oops. Forgot. <sighs> I'm fairly sure it's about- No, it's not. You're totally just making that up. <gasps> what gave it away, Captain Obvious? This is entertaining just watching all this. I think that these. movie is about a girl and a boy who hate each other at first, and then they fall in love for no reason at all. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's every romantic comedy ever. Oh, Kathy. I bet you love them just as much as I do. Shut up. <laughs> we meet again, Mr. Bear. Don't give me that look. It's not my fault you ended up so close to my lighter. Stay away from him, you violator. <laughs> Would you look at that? What an amazing compliment. Eileen's closet, filled to the brink with inherited clothes and Christian joy. Where do you actually keep your clothes, Kathy? Don't pretend like you don't know, E. I've smelled your perfume all over them. Oh, uh, I was just, <laughs> you know, curious. <laughs> you are so busted. This game is really fun. Looks handcrafted. Probably something she made in woodworking class. Well, either her or one of her 12 siblings. Don't exaggerate. There's only nine of us. Is there anything else entertaining to look at? Probably not. Okay, let's... Printed pic All right, let's use the picture. I'm or use the computer. I'm not sure what for. Unusual flower over there, though. Never seen anything. Good idea, but I should probably. Hmm. Okay, I'm pretty. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's... Oh, wait, I have to get it. Hey, E, come check this out. Hmm?
Wow, they're hypnotic. Looks like a will-o'-the-wisp. You know, the spirit of the forest. Now, that's just silly, Eileen. There has to be a more reasonable explanation for them. Hey, there's nothing silly about forest spirits. You should talk to Meadow, my Wiccan friend. She's really opened my eyes about these sort of things. Isn't that the same Meadow who had an intimate relationship with a tree outside her dorm? Oh, come on. That was just a phase. Trust uh, me, I've been okay. through every phase in the book. That definitely isn't one of them. Okay. So, anyway, is there anything I can do to help? Well, my side of the room is starting to get a bit messy. There's always that. Haha, <laughs> I meant with the investigation, silly. I guess you could try to find out more about these lights. Maybe figure out where that picture was taken. I know exactly where to start. Good. I'm gonna get some food now before I pass out. Okie dokie. I'll grab my books and get cracking. All right, see you in a bit. On the road again. Hey. Hey. So, any progress with the search? Yeah, I was able to identify that flower. It's called the Red Scythe, or Rosea Falcus. I discovered that there was a small nature reserve near Conwell Springs, which was established in 89. The Red Scythe is on their list of endangered plants. I made a photocopy of the botany book page in case you want it later. That's something. I should go check it out. Maybe I can narrow down the place where that picture was taken. And, uh, good work, Eileen. Happy to help. So what... Oh, hang on. I'll go get that. Okie dokie. Hello? This is Erica Wade calling for Kathy Rain. Speaking? Miss Rain, this is terribly awkward. I realize now how rude I was before. I wanted to apologize and ask if there is anything I can do. Apology accepted. You can start by answering a few questions. Very well. What can you tell me? My father is a great man. He has so many ideas, so much left to realize, which makes it hurt so much more to see him like this. See him like what? The illness and everything, of course. Right. Yeah, it must be hard. Oh, yes, indeed. I wish he wouldn't be so stubborn with his treatment. He could go to any state-of-the-art hospital, but insists on being treated in that backwater clinic in Conwell Springs. The community clinic in the middle of town? Yes. It's like he's given up and is just waiting for the inevitable to happen. What do you know? She was a young artist who lived somewhere in Conwell Springs. Killed herself, if I recall correctly. Dreadful thing. But other than that, not much. We never knew the family. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather that night in 81? Not really, no. But what I do know is how it destroyed father. It did? Oh, yes. The two of them were great friends once. And when Joseph was hurt, they hadn't been talking for some time. Father always hoped they would be able to reconnect one day. He kept putting it off, believing they had time. But in the end, it never happened. So, what were things like back when they were still good friends? Oh, they were like peas in a pod. <laughs> Always sharing their war stories and, and laughing together. In a way, Joseph became the uncle I never had. He was around a lot when Father went out on business trips. But later on, I, I even met you a few times, when you were just a baby. I don't remember any of that. Oh, no matter, you were so little then. Erica, I have to ask, why were you so defensive on the phone earlier when I tried to reach out? Oh, I don't know, Kathy. Our families haven't been in touch for a long time. I don't remember exactly when it happened, but we all started drifting apart. My guess is that it had to do with Father's growing wealth. Friendship needs common ground, and we started living in different worlds. What happened to your grandfather was the final nail in the coffin. Father just couldn't bear seeing him like that. Neither alive nor dead. For a moment, I had a, 
I had a worry that I hadn't had my mic on this entire time, which would have kind of sucked. But, uh, yes, I'm not quite that stupid. What do you know about Lily Meyer's art? Oh, that little girl had a twisted mind, let me tell you that. Oh, my father used to have a few pieces of hers in his collection. Horrible things. I couldn't understand why he ever decided to procure them in the first place. You say, used to have. Did he get rid of the paintings? Oh, either that, or, or he put them in storage somewhere. I haven't seen them for years. I never bothered to ask him why. Glad to be rid of them, quite frankly. Do you recognize the nickname Cocky? It may be an Air Force call sign. I can't say that I do. Father had many friends in the Air Force, but no one I can recall by that name. Do you know anything about the Church of the Holy Trinity? It's the one and only church in Conwell Springs. I was baptized there, and I married my husband there. Anything out of the ordinary about them? Oh, not really. They seem like a typical church to me. Okay, that's all I needed. Very well. Feel free to call back if you have any more questions. All right. Wade is in Conwell Springs. He's being treated in the clinic. That was Erica Wade. Her father is being treated at the clinic in Conwell Springs. Being treated? He's sick? Looks that way. Small miracle they managed to keep it out of the press. Yeah, I suppose you are returning to talk to him? It'll have to be tomorrow. It's quite late for that now. I suppose. Scrabble? Oh, you're so on. I will crush you. So I guess that's day two. Okay. Okay. Turning this your is pawn into weird. a queen. Is that the plan, buddy boy? You know me. I'm always playing the long game, old friend. That may be, but you're running out of pieces. First you lost your queen, then your knight. All that matters is the king. Illusional as always. The king is dead. Long live the king. Check. It's a weird one. Good morning, sunshine. Please tell me I dreamt all those Scrabble losses last night. Three times in a row. Rub it in, why don't you? I'll just go strangle myself now. Oh, you. Don't be a sore loser. So what's the plan today? Mr. Wade is the plan. I'll head for the clinic right away. While I'm at it, I'm going to check out the church and the nature reserve. Okie dokie. What can I do to help? Why don't you continue looking into the lights? I have a feeling they're the key to solving all of this. You could also look up the history of Conwell Springs in general, see if anything unusual has been going on. I'll get right on it. Great. Thanks, E. Oh, by the way, don't forget to check out the page I gave you about the red scythe. It's a pretty interesting flower. Right. Yeah. Is that in my... Yes, it is. Let's read. It's a photocopy of a book page with information about the red scythe flower. Here's an interesting segment. Another interesting trait of the red scythe is the smell, which is familiar to that of a pepper. The pollen of the plant has also been known to cause hallucinations in concentrated amounts. Native American tribes harvested and smoked the plant for that reason, but the flower never caught on as a modern recreational drug due to the difficulty of growing it. Hmm. Eileen gave me this. Ugh, I feel... All right. I think I'm going to take a break. Actually, I'm going to save and then take a break. And uh, get something to drink. And uh, when we come back, we will continue onward and see what else the game has to offer. So until then, enjoy the music and the corgis. <laughs> 